Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at triangles and specifically three different methods of drawing triangles or constructing triangles. The first method will see us draw a triangle given the lengths of all three sides. So the first thing we would have done was we drew the base, which was 150 millimeters, I think. And then we drew an arc. Now the radius of this arc is the length of one of the sides. And we are drawing our second arc now. And this radius is also the length of the other side. So the first arc was 100 millimeters was the radius and the second arc is 80 millimeters so the radius of each arc represents the length of the side once the two arcs intersect you draw lines to complete the triangle as i've done and i'm just going to change the layer now so that you can see the outline of the triangle and it can be separated from the construction lines. So that's it. How to draw a triangle given the lengths of all three sides. And we're going to move on now to our second method, which is if we have two lengths and one side. Again, we'll begin with our baseline. In this case, we went with a length of 200 millimeters just zooming in here and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna construct the angle we're gonna do a 60 degree angle which we which we demonstrated in a previous video so here we are constructing the angle we're using 65 millimeter radius going back to center start end and 65 cut the first arc and then we draw a line from the center of the arcs through the 60 through the 60 degree point and this line that we are drawing here we will also enter a specific length the length is 100 millimeters so these are the two lengths that we have and once you have those two lengths and the angle, you simply close the triangle. Once more, I'm going to change the layer on the triangle so that we have some distinction and there's no confusion. There's no confusion between the outline and the construction lines. Our third triangle is two angles and one length. So again, once more, we start with our base line and this is the only length that we have. We went with 250 millimeters. And what we're gonna do is we're going to construct two angles at either end of our base line. So what we are constructing here right now is a 60 degree angle. can see that here we are almost finished with the angle we're gonna draw we're gonna pull a line through through the intersection point like that now we don't know how long this line is as yet right so we just pull a random line on the right hand side of the base we're gonna construct a 45 degree angle uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a circle as you can see here, the center of the circle is the end of the baseline. I went with a radius of 25 millimeters. And I'm now going to just extend the baseline a bit. And this is to help with the construction of the 90 degree angle. 
So we go to the arc command and here we are constructing a 90 degree angle and I will link if you want to review construction of 60 degree and 90 degree angles and how to bisect them or you may not have seen that video before I will be sure to link it in the description below all right so we draw a 90 degree angle here but we're not finished because we actually want a 45 degree angle so what we're gonna do now is bisect our 90 to get a 45 and that's what we're about to do now all right we went with a radius of 55 millimeters and it's very important that you take note of the radius you're using when you're bisecting and that you stick to it. So let's see if I stuck to it here. What is the radius? What is the radius? I'm clearly confused at this point. Very confused at this point. 55. There we go. I finally, finally figured it out. It's 55. So we're going to draw a line from the center of this angle. Oh, I just checked the radius of my arc there. So you're going to draw a line from the center of this angle passing through the point of intersection for these two arcs. What we want to do at this point is we basically want the two lines the two angled lines we basically want them to to intersect there's a lot of frustration going on here i'm, I'm simply trying to lengthen i'm simply trying to lengthen the line there we go finally figured that out i didn't want the or snap to mess with the direction of my line and so I wanted them to cross each other and this was another terrible thing I, I trimmed the wrong part of the line and all these things I didn't want to edit it out all these things happen when you're drawing but it's easy to undo a mistake and rectify them finally we got our triangle and this is the outline this is the finished product so these are the three methods for drawing triangles i hope that you learned something please subscribe and leave a like thanks